How's everyone doing? All right, my name is Evan, if you don't know. I'm Chad. I'm, I'm Janini Charles. We are Team Loki OP. Yes, yes, Team Loki OP. All right, Chad. Good afternoon, everyone. Andy? <laughs> I'm Chadrick. I came from the, I grew up in the Philippines, rather. I came in from Miami around six months ago. I love nature, I love hiking, and I love competitive games. So we made Tournament Maker. And no, there's this here. Okay, again, my name is Evan. I'm Colombian. There's a lot of things that I like, but I just boil it down to just playing sports and playing video games. That's, those are my passions. And me. All right, for the final presentation, we're here. As you all know, I'm Janini Charles. I love learning. I love salsa. I have my BA in political science, public administration. I leverage my technical skills, helping students learn using what I know, helping them solve, debug their own little problems. And software is my future and all of our futures. All right, so why Tournament Maker? So pretty much, as you all know, we all play games, most of us at least. Um, but if you don't play games, you play something. It can be a card game, it can be chess, it can be cornhole right there behind Iron Hack outside. So we decided to make like a Tournament Maker. Pretty much just a way to just organize a tournament in between a group of people on the spot. So let's talk about a few difficulties. Some of you know our friend Samuel Lipson up there. Allow me to mention one of the biggest hurdles we faced multiple times this time was what I like to call the Git Revenge. <laughs> Chad, if you want to give a moment about what they... Sure, working with Git is difficult if you're working with a group because the process of uh, who goes first, who pulls what, and who pushes or who gets the data, if you push the wrong thing, you're going to get the wrong thing. So it messes up your whole program. We all know that. Yeah, so it happened a lot of times with us because, you know, late night, coding late, something doesn't work, you have conflict, so you said, you know what, I'm just going to force it. You force it, bad things happen, don't force it, all right, guys? And um, pretty much an example, I'll just tell you now, um, 20 minutes ago, we were checking our Heroku app, and we realized all of our CRUD functions deleted because of a merge conflict. So me and Janini literally for the past 20 minutes managed to salvage our app. Chad had no idea, because he wasn't sitting with us. <laughs> So going forward, you can see an idea of some of the planning, thanks to Chad. He helped us go through a lot of strategic planning. Our first days were spent on that, going through the models, going through the user flow, what the plan was for how everything was to be set up. Yeah, yeah so it took us an hour to do that. Yeah, yeah. Another thing I recommend doing, never take a picture like that. You kind of want to have to do it like this. Like you have to organize it a bit so it's not crazy. So this helped us out a lot because our app was a little complicated with the three relations we had between the, right here. So how we were connecting it. This one only shows one, because we thought we only needed one, like, um, one ID to connect everything. But it turned out that it was a little bit more complicated than that. But this helped us out a lot to, to remind us how we were doing things. To give you an idea, you think these are a lot of components. If you look at our actual code, we have more than this. So there is a lot that went into this, a lot of interlinking parts. Allow us to demonstrate just a little bit of what it can do. Here we go. All right, so here we are. Trying to make it. That's what we decided to make it because we we're lazy. So now, what do you want me to just sign up? Yeah, go ahead and sign, sign up. So I'm just going to sign up. You talk. I, I think I already made that one. Um, I'll make it 45, though. So you need a lot of users for this program. To, in order to make a team, but we made a prototype uh, tournament for you. All right. So here you are at the home page. So if you are logged in, you can create a tournament, you can create a team that can participate in tournaments, you can see the teams, and you can see the tournaments that are going on. They all have relationships to link to each other. For example, if you create a team and your user model, it'll show that you were the one who created it, and the only one who can edit that user is you, or the only person who can edit the tournament you made is you, or same thing with the teams. Everything is linked, relationships are mutual. All right, so why don't we go ahead and make a tournament?
The turn E. Oh, uh, right. Oh, wait. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that one. Let's, let's submit. All right, cool. 19. Let's submit it. All right, so here's a list of tournaments that we have. If you want, Evan will go ahead and demonstrate some of the CRUD functions. Okay. So pretty much, um, if you are the administrator of the tournament, which is the person who made the tournament, the ID gets linked to the user ID, and it allows you to see things that others can't. And this is what the CRUD route is right only here. Only tournament administrator. So the, only, the tournament administrator is the only person that can see this. And you obviously can edit the name, the logo URL, and also the description. And obviously save the changes, I'll demonstrate. And then the description as well. So it's right there, changed it, and you can also delete. So that's, that's right. like full crud right here. Boom, it's gone. All right, and so. One more thing, Chad went and delivered and designed a wonderful tournament bracket system that is still in the prototyping stages. However, it is able to display a lot of the info. If you'll click on tournament details, you okay. should be able to see. Right now, you see nothing. We need to add a team to the tournament. So, why don't we make a team? And we'll do this quick so we're not here too long. So go ahead, teams, or actually home. Create a team. Give that team a name. <laughs> Blah. Submit that team. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, here are all the teams. Yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the team that they own Default right now. Default image, by the way, since we didn't put a URL. All right, cool. Let's try to sign this team. Oh, yeah, details. Why not see the profile? Blah. Captain is coolboy45. Yeah, so captain is also an ID that gets linked to the user if he makes the team. So if he can be an administrator of the tournament and then also make a team in the tournament and it'll be two different IDs linked up to the same user. So then, what do you want me to demonstrate? Let's see, yeah, why not? Let's demonstrate the CRUD. All right. Thanks to the NG model, anything he puts, you can see a change in real time and then you just click on save changes. Boo, and then it's higher up. Oh, what happened to the image, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so. More updates to happen. I'll miss you all, by the way. <laughs> all right. Shall we go ahead and... Now to the, to the bracket. To the brackets. So, our tournaments. All right. Pick a tournament, whichever one. Test 99. Which one's the one we made? I'll see the match line up on the corner. Oh, did we delete it? <laughs> yep. We credit ourselves. <laughs> we credit ourselves. Okay, let's make one real, no, check real, real the first one first. Oh, the first one? Okay. Cornholers Ultimate Championship. Are we admin at that one? Oh, yeah. See the match lineup. Of course. Oh. Next. Right, because we didn't make. Okay, you get the idea. They're there. We can add them. We won't take too long. <laughs> Let's go to the next slide. Let's go to the next slide. Oh, we deleted the team. We deleted because the, the teams have to sign up to the tournament for you to see them. Oh, you oh my goodness. All right, all right. All right, all right. So we'll continue it for now. But it's a very system, and it automatically installs things. All right, so. The future ideas. Number one, before anything, we need to make sure next time any presentation, we pre-populate the tournament so we can show off all the features. That was a lot of work that went in. And we saw the nights there. So obviously, we want to improve the UX and UI. We ran into a lot of issues where like, how do we design this? What features? Where should we put it? Where should we put this? Some, having a UX designer on the team would have been very important to make those decisions for us so we can focus on development. Um, anything of that sort as well. We also tried to use uh, GreenSock, but it was a bit difficult because it wasn't a module. It was just a JS file where it doesn't really um, integrate well with Angular 2. So we skipped that one. Oh yeah, so another thing that we would like to add is pretty much um, making the tournament bracket, which we deleted by accident, actually have animation like pop in and out when a team gets bumped out of the tournament, like add a little animation to like, you know, make it visually pleasing, not just have it there as blocks, just doing nothing. And a final note, since this is a tournament app and esports are creative and awesome like that, we would want to do things for scaling. For example, putting the, splitting up, up into microservices, putting them in containers, perhaps Docker, deploying on AWS for scale, and if time allows, Kubernetes. So we're able to integrate all of those things and give it almost unstoppable level scale. I think that's pretty much it. So we all thank you. We at Team Thank Local you all OP. so much.